Okay, so so far in our embedded project, we've acquired a waveform through our analog input, brought it up to our FPGA, and then streamed it through a DMA FIFO from our FPGA up to our microprocessor. Now in this application, or in this section of our, our project, we're actually going to do some analysis on our microprocessor. So let's look at our LabVIEW project. We're going to expand out again the embedded target that we've been working with. Then we'll click on the microprocessor application and then open up the block diagram to expose the code that's actually running on the microprocessor. You'll notice I've already implemented some code on our microprocessor VI. First, I have an upper loop, a high priority loop, in which we're pulling information off of our DMA FIFO, a thousand points at a time, and then feeding it in to a real time FIFO for distribution to our lower loop, our lower priority loop. So now let's actually implement our analysis. In order to do this, we're going to right click on our block diagram to bring up the functions palette. This includes thousands of different pre configured uh, functions that ship with LabVIEW. We're going to navigate down to the mathematics palette, go to probability and statistics, select the RMS calculation, and then drop it down our block diagram. Finally, to complete the analysis, we're going to wire it up to our data. So I'm going to complete the wire and then hit the Run button. And when I do that, it's actually compiling down our FPGA application for this specific real-time operating system running on our microprocessor. Once it's done compiling, then it deploys the application through Ethernet down to our microprocessor. It also provides a user interface to simulate what's going on on our headless microprocessor so that we can actually now see our sine wave voltage uh, on our user interface. So that wraps up our task in which we've acquired a sine wave on our FPGA, streamed it up to our microprocessor, and done some initial analysis on it.